First of four, the OSBI is investigating after a man was shot and killed by Rogers County deputies and a Cherokee Nation marshal after barricading himself inside of a building and firing a nail gun at the officers. Thanks for joining us at 4 o'clock. I'm Jonathan Cooper. And I'm Tatum Gwynn. Investigators say the officers were trying to get the man out of the building after hours of negotiations failed. News on 6's Cal Day is in the newsroom with the latest on that investigation. Cal? Well, Jonathan Tatum, Rogers County deputies were called to Vamont Utility near Catoosa around 4 o'clock this morning. They say they tried to talk with the man for two hours to get him to surrender, but despite their best efforts, things did not end peacefully. The Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation says 39-year-old William Fairweather went inside the building and refused to leave. Deputies say Fairweather worked at the location but was not on duty. We started negotiating with him that went on for a period of probably close to two hours. Rogers County Sheriff Scott Walton says Fairweather started threatening the deputies and the marshal who were trying to get him out. Walton says they turned to tear gas to try and get Fairweather to leave, and that's when he started shooting the nail gun at them. Investigators say the deputies and marshal fired and killed Fairweather. There was a great effort extended to try to make this a peaceful resolve. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't handle that way. Walton says a deputy was injured but is expected to be okay. It's another indicator that uh, this nail gun uh, had the ability uh, to shoot a large nail uh, a great distance. Investigators are now trying to figure out why Fairweather showed up to his workplace and what caused him to use a nail gun as a weapon. This is the second deadly shooting involving Rogers County deputies in the past month. The U.S. Attorney's Office cleared the deputies in the first shooting, ruling it justifiable. And the OSBI is leading the investigation, but adds the FBI is also involved since the case involves tribal citizens. Tatum. Cal Day live in our newsroom for us this afternoon. Thank you for the update.